Okay, I'm here in Berlin at uh, Ideal. Uh, what's it called? Ideal. Oh, Ideal Berlin. <laughs> Ideal Berlin. Ideal Showroom Berlin, which is a fashion uh, fashion week presentation, and uh, but it also has some sort of art stuff. And this is Fumiko Imano's um, exhibition of photographs of herself. Um, I first met you. Uh, in Paris at Colette, you yeah. were working at Colette, <laughs> but also you're, you've been working as a stylist in London sometimes. No, no. No? Oh, no. I thought you were also. No, I was uh, helping designers sometimes doing okay. artwork. So. But you work with stylists uh, for your own clothes. No, I don't have my clothes. Oh, so you're you are your own stylist. Yeah. You're, you're a stylist I for mean, yourself. I'm stylist for myself. Okay. And a photographer for myself. That's, yeah. that's very interesting because it reminds me of uh, some artists like, uh, have you heard of Samuel Fosso? No. He's an African artist, very, uh, since the 70s he's been making pictures just of himself. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to start with, uh, so here we are in the exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I look at you, then we have this note, uh, hello, you are the most amazing looking person I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. Love Letter from Stranger, London, yeah. 1999. And this is also what I thought when I first saw you in uh, Paris. I thought, wow. I mean, Colette is... It's, it's interesting, the clothes there, but it's not really special. But you were dressed in a style which was not Colette style. It was more <laughs> like... <laughs> it was, you had pom-poms on your shoes yeah. and uh, uh, some red dress with flowers mm -hmm. or something. So I, I also thought this is a very interesting individual uh, look. So. Did you just reach this by experimenting with it? Or how did you come to this very unique style of, of dressing? Um, originally, I was such a bad dresser <laughs> since a kid, and I was fat, and so I always have complex about it. And then, I don't know, since I went to London, I started to customize clothes and dress. Uh, why did you go to London? You were an art student. I was studying in St. Martin's. St. Martin's, yeah. yeah. Foundation and a BA Fine Art for one year, and after I left to uh, fashion photography, you know, mm. graduate fashion. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I think everything is coming from my complex, from my childhood. And you were brought, you were uh, growing up in 90s Japan, which was kind of Shibuya K Japan, and there was also a lot of street fashion, which is very interesting. And do you think now Japanese street fashion is boring? Have you lost interest in that kind of typical street fashion from Fruits Magazine, for instance? Okay. I think boys are becoming like host style. Which style? Host. Ho host. How to say host in the bar? Oh, hostess. Hostess, hostess. style. Even the boys, hostess, so wearing the... I mean, uh, brown hair, not uh, uh. and wearing black shirts thing. I don't know. So you weren't influenced by this kind of pinky, cute, decora mm, style, whatever, no, or no. gothic lolita, or any of these no. styles, no? I'm just wearing what I like. And, and you come from a small town, or from a big yeah, city? Yeah, I'm from a small town called Hitachi. Uh, maybe we can run to this picture here where um, here we see Fumiko in the snow. Uh, is this in your hometown? Yeah. Right. Higachi. Hitachi. Hitachi. Ah, Hitachi. Electric. Okay. Yes, of course. Uh, electric. Ah. So this is just you and your in your family house, and you're trying on clothes, which maybe your mother. No, it's has my clothes actually. Yeah. Yeah. From second oh, hand. Mink fur. Yeah. Mink fur. <laughs> yeah. Actually. So it's um. Yeah. Uh, Friko Seki, second hand Mukokseki? Mukokseki. Mukokseki style, uh, Takokse, yeah, I don't know. Uh, just the yeah. second hand clothes. Yeah. I don't know, because life is about clothes and then food and then how do you live and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think it's very important in you know, life. To wear what you want, because so many people are like having typical clothes mm. or similar and clothes. Do you think in Japan uh, people got more uh, conformist recently? Con like, do you, do you feel it's important for you to that you left Japan? Yeah, I think so. You had to leave to to find some style. Because. Mm, 
I, I used to live in Brazil when I was a kid. Oh. So it was kind of strange, like I'm Japanese. And then I'm, I was born in Japan. And I grew up in Brazil for six years and all of a sudden I have to go back to Japan and it was so shocking. And then, yeah, again, it's as complex as Japanese identity crisis all the time. Mm. So. And talking of identity crisis, you have a series, several of these photographs in which there are two, two of you. You're like twins of yourself and you, yeah. cut, you cut the picture yeah. halfway. Yeah. Uh, how did this project begin? Especially when I went back to Japan from London, um, I had so much, I felt so much responsibility to myself in, the, in my life. It was so heavy, like you're this age and then you have to have a proper job, you have to be like this and that, and then it was too heavy and then I, I really wished like uh, I mm. wanted to clone yourself. Yeah. And make yeah. someone else who would do the responsible things. And yeah, together. <laughs> so I can be much more childish and right. then you know enjoy myself. So this one could uh, get a job and this one could just be like a child forever? No, both of them. Oh, both of them. Okay. <laughs> so they just actually yeah, I'm a bit like Peter Pan ah. syndrome kind of. Do you like Michael Jackson? Yeah, I like him. <laughs> Uh, what, what do you think of uh, Yayoi Kusama? Yayoi Kusama. you like her work? Yeah, I like yeah? her work. Because she had um, some problems to be accepted in Japan. Her mother tore up her drawings and uh, mm. she was uh, considered scandalous because she was naked in her work or, or there's a lot of sexual imagery in her work. Um, mm. But only now when she's like 75 years old or something, now she's accepted. And I know. Same to Fujiko Heming. What do you call? Hemming? Hem Hemming. The pianist. Ah, okay. Yeah. Only when she's very old. Mm, I don't know, it's like, you know, once you're out from Japan, it's hard to be accepted in Japan. Right, yeah, yeah. And you have some stylists who are, are you appearing, two of you are appearing with these different stylists here, or people, uh, people in Paris? Yeah, we have people in Paris and uh, I yeah, it's Yeah. Um, and do you feel like closer to the fashion world or to the art world? Um, it's more closer to the fashion world. To fashion. Um, I don't know. Somehow, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I have a I get offer from fashion world all the mm. time. You haven't had exhibitions in art galleries. No, I haven't. Because one of the pieces I saw, a, a film you made, which was on your website, it's you in clothes shops trying on ah, clothes. Ah, yeah, show studio. This is the first, yeah, the show studio okay. site, that's right. The first thing I saw by you, and I thought this is a great art project, because it's it's all about identity, and but also it's almost like watching somebody stealing clothes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you never you never really stole the clothes. <laughs> no, it's, but it's, it's almost like, like, can I try clothes? <laughs> The but video. yeah, it's forbidden. It's like I think uh, in Japan now uh, many people have these cameras like mm -hmm. this, and so it's like called digital shoplifting. Like mm -hmm. you can just go to a magazine shop and you take pictures of yeah. the magazine, and you don't buy the magazine. Mm -hmm. So some people don't like the, in the shops; they don't like yeah. it. So I guess uh, you're almost like digital shoplifter. <laughs> but I thought this was a very nice project because everybody is an actor when they're mm -hmm. putting on clothes. Mm -hmm. You're becoming, you're trying characters. Yeah. So it's almost like a literary and also like an art project and yeah. not so much fashion because the fashion world doesn't go very deep into those questions of identity. Mm. Yeah, this, yeah, this project is happened because um, I really want to wear designer's clothes. Right. It's so expensive. Yeah. But you can try in the changing free. room yeah. for free. Yeah. And if you take pictures, it's uh, you know, yeah. it's um, record how you are. <laughs> right. like, so that's why it started. Yeah. Do you think there's some political thing in your work? Would you say it's political? Mm, I don't know. Maybe 
maybe it's a bit political in out of Japan because I'm Japanese, mm. like Asian look. Mm. But if I'm in Japan, it's not really political. Right. Mm. Yeah, it's what not... do you think? <laughs> Well, from a Western perspective, it, you could say it's something to do with identity politics, which is feminism and all these things which came from the 60s and 70s identity politics. But I think whenever I've read interviews with Japanese artists, they're never interested in those questions. Okay. Um, I, and I, you know, I can understand that because I think the work is also political in the sense of the, there's a politics of texture and politics of being childish or playful is also political in a way. Mm -hmm. It's like saying we have the right to be children, even if we're adults. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because we, we don't know from where to where is political. Yeah. Though. Yes. So we, maybe there is. I think putting a new boundary on yeah. the politics is very interesting. Yeah. Mm. And would would you be interested to have art exhibitions to become known as an artist? Yeah. Um, actually, I think I'm an artist, and I don't want to be like a photographer. Mm. Because I'm not really a photographer, right. even I studied fashion photography. Uh, so, yeah, I'd like to be a proper artist. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about your book, uh, just to finish. Um, this, it's a self-published yeah. book here. Um, this is just pictures of yourself. And oops, you're, just, you're selling this uh, through some bookstores, just some selected bookstores. Yeah. But mostly it's self-produced and self-financed. Yeah. So, do you uh, send this to publishers and say, you know, I, I have a book which uh, I'd like to publish? Or? No, uh, you mean from uh, for the future? I mean, yes, for the future. Are you, are you interested to yeah, interest a publisher to. in doing a bigger version yeah, of this? Yeah, bigger, more bigger, like a lucky book. <laughs> the, mini, the mini book, so you could mini do the maxi book. book. Yeah, everybody complained about it. Why is it so small? Oh, no, it's nice. Well, it's, I, it's, I like Kawaii, it small. Yeah, and, yeah. Actually, it was my friend saying, like, yeah, you're going to make a small book. <laughs> oh, no, like this size. <laughs> right. So that's why it started. And, uh, and you're selling it in Palais de Tokyo and places like that? Yeah, yeah. and Colette. Colette, so, yeah. So, so um, traditional last question in an interview. Yeah. Uh, what are your next projects for Miko Imano? Next uh, project after this. You're staying in Berlin or you're going back to Paris? or? I'm going back to Japan. To Japan, oh, okay. To your family house? Yeah. Okay. So I've been in my family's house for three months, and then my parents are traveling in Spain now. Right. So I've been having freedom. <laughs> right. In front of a computer and uh, skyping and okay. watching TV and digging potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very romantic, and you can take more more pictures like this, which are very green uh, countryside. Yeah, I uh, like I like Japan actually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so do I. <laughs> I like it. At some point, it's a bit um, you need to difficult escape. for me. Yeah. So you you plan to keep coming to the West? Yeah, I would love to. Mm. Okay. Um, and thank my you. Very project. Oh, your project? Um, yes, sorry. I want to make video. <laughs> uh huh. And I want to make music too. Mm -hmm. I just want small mini piano. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you can sing? You're, yeah, you're... I can sing. <laughs> okay, so expect uh, Kumiko's album and her book and uh, uh, maybe a garden mini as well. Album. Mini album and uh, possibly a mini garden. This is my debut album. Debut album, very small one, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you. Okay. <laughs> From Ideal Showroom Berlin.